Welcome in here on the Kill Coin Show. We want to get everybody set for Cinco de Mayo. Joining us in studio, Jesus Casillas is with us. He is with Chimmy's Fresh Mex, authentic Mexican cuisine. Jesus, thanks for being here on short notice. We were just talking the other day, and we said, you know what? We need to get ready for Cinco de Mayo. Give us an idea how big this weekend is for you at Chimmy's at all your locations. Is it a incredibly busy weekend? It is. It is. It's going to be really nice. Uh, we have uh, live music on the, on the in some of the stores, like St. Peter's and, uh, and one in Woodson. How many locations do you have around town? Uh, we got three locations and uh, four one coming. A fourth coming. Good yes. for you. Chimmy's Fresh Mac. So let's tell folks about your menu, what you guys serve that makes you uh, unique. Uh, the fresh food, you know, the authentic Mexican food. Uh, all my recipes, a lot of the recipes are grandma recipes, uh, and I've been following all that. So you grew up with grandma in the kitchen cooking? Yep. <laughs> and what was grandma's specialty? Uh, we cook uh, uh, fajitas, uh, the chimichangas. The enchiladas are really, really good, really, really good. The sauce is very tasty, really tasty. So you grew up with Grandma's recipes. How did you get in, into the actual restaurant business? Tell folks your story. Uh, How did it evolve? I started like 10, 10 years ago with a little bit of place. Uh, it's called Las Palmas. And I own Las Palmas and Page, a little bit of place. I started from there, and uh, and I just started uh, Chimis Frex Max uh, three years ago. And started with Grandma's recipes yes. to this day. Yeah. And how do you make it unique? Because we've all tried Mexican food. Is it go back to Grandma? Yes. Is that what makes yes. it unique? Yes. You you have you can taste the steak. Uh, all the steaks is marinara. You know the chicken. This is a, it's a neat season on the on the on the dishes. So you you would take you would taste the difference from. I know you've been eating a lot of restaurants, but you would taste the difference. And rice on the beans, they're mashed by handly, you know. And you brought in margaritas as I well. I noticed because the entire staff, including the sales staff, seem to be very present when they heard there was margaritas in here. Tell us what's unique about your margarita. Uh, the margaritas, the automatic top shell margaritas. That you don't have no option to get a when you order margarita. They're already top shell top shell margarita. You don't got no option for. Or, like, choose. You know? Now, now, do you prefer on the rocks or the frozen? Oh, and, and do, you, do you look down at the frozen? Both really good. One of the neat things that this, I'm the only one make the margaritas. There's nobody else that make it. So, really? So if you, that's one of the rules of Chimmy's. That's one of the rules. He makes the margaritas. Yeah, makes the margaritas. Now, what if else. I worked there and I just decided I'm going to make it today? Am I getting fired? <laughs> no, that, no, you don't know. Nobody knows the recipe. Okay. So the rest, I, I'm the only one make it. So, Jesus, it's a great story. You started Las Palmas. I've been in there, right up the road here from KTRS, right up the road from Channel 2 and Channel 11, just down the corner from here. Uh, tell me about making that move to start expanding. That's That takes some guts, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I just uh, I love what I do. I love being around people. I love serving food. So that's I got patient. Uh, my patient, you know, is, is serving food. And I love that. All right, since Cinco de Mayo falls on a Sunday, yes. are people going to celebrate Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah, they will. I, I I got a lot of people that are already calling and making reservations. And uh, are you normally open on Sundays? Yes, it's open seven days a week. In all your locations. In all locations. And if people uh, can, they just Google Chimmy's Fresh Max. They can find out more. There's the yes, Wildwood there's, location. There's a wild. There's three locations. We got a website too. Uh, Chimmy's STL. Uh, dot com, and you can find the coupons or. Menu or so St. Peter's, Overland, Wildwood. Jesus Casillas is with us in studio with Chimmy's Fresh Max. What will you serve the most? Is there a staple on Cinco de Mayo that people always order? Do you, do you serve more tacos than burritos or more enchiladas? What do you sell the most of on this uh, weekend? We got uh, everything. You know, fajitas is one of the bigger sellers. Uh, I got a dishes that are really traditional, you know, that really big sellers too. It's, uh, very popular, chiste burrito. That's a Full big, ten inch uh, flour tortilla with the steak and cheese inside. Really, really good. Now it's safe to say that Chimmy's is named the restaurant is named after chimichangas. Right. right. Now we were talking about them yesterday and how much we love them. Uh, would it be fair to say that they are a big burrito, uh, deep fried, deep fried burrito? Is that an accurate description of a chimmy? You take a burrito and deep fry. It is a deep fry. We also we we had. Uh, I have over 15 different kinds of chimis. Oh. That's one of the, 
uh, bigger stew. It's, it's over 15 Mercy. different kinds. Now, did Grandma ever get to come into the restaurant? Yes. And try and is yeah. she your biggest critic? You get nervous the first time you served grandma? <laughs> yes. Yeah, because you know, I got from all my mom and family, they're really good cooks. So I had it you know, they were always saying they cannot make everything the same being here in the States, you know, and like in Mexico the seasons. But I I I make it you know, I make it happen. And so here in the US people love to go out and celebrate Cinco de Mayo. Back in Mexico, is it also huge, huge celebration? It is. It's really huge here. I've been here for the past ten years, and every time I, it's been happening. Really now, if good. I if I go to Mexico, what are they eating the most? Are they eating more tacos? Are we are they into fajitas the way we they are? They do. Is- we do the fajitas the same way. The quesadillas. Uh, the, the, the it's not is is different, little different, but they put more spicy. People eat more spicy than in Mexico than we do here. But uh, people's getting used to now there. Eat more spicy, a little bit more spicy. Oh, I right. like spice, yeah. Yeah. But so this is authentic Mexican. Right. This isn't your uh, chain restaurant right. with your, your Tex Mex or whatever. This is the real stuff. Right. And tell us about your salsa. Do you do different types of salsa? We do uh, hot, you know, the hot and mild salsa, the, the normal red salsa that we provided on the table. And it's chunky. It's not like just um, mashed, you know, like smoothie, you know, but it's chunky salsa. The hot salsa is really fresh too. You can tell by how to make you know chunky salsa. Now, how long how long have you been in St. Louis, Jesus? Uh, I've been here since 1998. 1998. It's relatively yeah. recent. What What do you like about our town? Uh, I love here. I just I I was all over the states before, and uh, just love St. Louis. Well, I'm glad to hear it's going well for you. Chimmy's, Fresh Max, the three locations, Wildwood. Overland, St. Peter's, you're open seven days a week anyway, so it's perfect this weekend with Cinco de Mayo on Sunday, but people celebrating it all weekend, and we're going to sample some of your food here after we take the break. If I could only eat one thing of everything you brought, if I could only pick one, what would you recommend? Oh, I got That's hard to do, isn't <laughs> That's it? That's really hard to do. <laughs> if, you were sit- if you were sitting down and eating lunch at Chimmy's, and I said, what are you going to order, Jesus, what would it be? <laughs> it's really hard, man. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever Grandma says, right? I would send for a little bit of everything. <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah. Well, thanks so much for being here. I know it's a busy weekend. We thank our friends at Kuna Foods as well. We love the good folks at Kuna, and I know you deal with them at Chimmy's. And uh, glad you're in St. Louis, and thanks for being here today. Thank you. Happy Cinco de Mayo, everybody Happy listening. and. 